good afternoon everyone i'm begging you guys to please bear with me today on my rough looking day my eyebrows are growing and they're horrible right now and i have on no lashes so i'm bald eyed and everything but before we get started with today's video, I would like you to click on the red notification bell at the bottom and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Today, I'm doing another freestyle video. Basically, uh, something just came on my mind and I decided to uh, do a video about it. And it's basically saying, why is it that people don't understand until the shoe is on the other foot and i try not to judge others until i'm in their position and 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 i'm going through exactly what they're going through because you do not know what someone is going through and you and i i've done this many times i can actually say I've done this many times where I tell people, oh my God, I would not have done that. I would have did this. I would have said that. Girl, why you didn't do that? That's crazy. You should have thought about doing this because that's what I would have done. And I've, I've done that so many times. And I'm making it self for everyone because I'm pretty sure at least once in our life we have done this. We tell others what to do or how to respond and how to react to a certain situation that they're dealing with when we're not dealing with that situation ourselves. So, I'm kind of basically letting you guys know, please stop doing that and do not judge others on the decisions that they choose to make, whether or not it's right or wrong. That's the decision they wanted to make and let them make that decision. We are all unique. We think differently, we act differently, and we even look differently. And we need to own that and accept that. So I caught myself doing this. I believe this was yesterday or the day before. So I said, I'm going to make a video about that. And this is this about me. So I want people to understand that my videos are real. I'm not saying stuff off, oh, what I think looks good and what sounds good. I'm being real with my audience. And I want my audience to be real with me. So I have to stop that. And if I notice something about myself and I can share the information with others so they can't make the same mistake, I would love to do that. Now... I don't have any kids, so I can't go about telling a mother or a father what to do with their kids. I don't have any kids. And I, I, like I said, I just recently caught myself doing this, I think two days ago, and I had to sit back and take a look at myself and say, Teresa, you don't even have any kids. So who are you to tell someone with kids what to do and how they should handle a certain situation with their own kids? So, basically, it was a reality check for myself. And I want you guys to notice and understand that everyone deals with things differently. We could be in the exact situation. I could be homeless. You can be homeless. No one... Um, it's letting us stay with them or come over to sleep a few nights or nothing. And we can be in the same predicament. But yet I say, um, well, I'm going to go rob someone tonight because I'm not doing this tonight. And, and the other person uh, could be like, well, you're wrong for going to go rob someone and this and this. And, and we're in the same predicament but we think differently so i said that to show you guys that everyone has their own way of thinking their own train of thought so instead of belittling or making people feel um dumb and making people feel unsure whether or not they made the right decision or something. Stop doing that. 
just let them make that decision. I don't want to sit up here and be talking about somebody who works at fast food because they got my order wrong instead of being an adult and saying, hey, the order is wrong. Even if the fast food worker may have an attitude or whatever because they're probably dealing with a hard day because working at fast food is not an easy job. I'm a living witness because I worked fast food before. It is not an easy job. So instead of catching an attitude with them because they caught one with me, I can say yes, ma'am, and yes, sir, to let them know, hey, I'm not with the attitude and I, I, I respect what you're saying and I'm still going to be respectful. That would kind of change their attitude sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you being positive can change someone's attitude in the way that they feel. So instead of getting mad that they got mad for messing up my order anything like that and say oh that's what you get that's why you work here at mcdonald's making minimum wage baby uh come correct before you come for me and and and, and until you make such and such an hour you'll never be on my level you are down here and i am up here don't do that don't do that don't do that because that job that's up here could fire you today. And no job is hiring except McDonald's. And not only is it McDonald's, it's the same exact McDonald's where you just clown someone at. And God can make those type of things happen. I'm, I'm telling you guys, karma is a MF. You reap what you sow. Now you did all this just yesterday and your job has fired you and you need a job right now today because bills are going to be due next week or in the next two weeks. And the only job that's hiring out of every job is the same McDonald's where you just belittled someone. So I, 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 I just want you to understand until you in someone's shoes, do not judge them. I don't need nobody making me feel bad because I make a, 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 a small amount of money uh, per hour, minimum wage. I don't need nobody talking about me because I can't afford to wash my clothes on the regular. I don't need anyone talking about me because I'm homeless. I don't need someone talking about me because I can't afford to get my hair and my nails done. You know, get off that high horse and become human. People forget that we're human. It's like we 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 turned into some other type of uh being. We're not humans anymore. Everyone is different. And just like Martin Lawrence said, and um, one tell that no one is immune to the trials and tribulations of life. And I, I thought that was so amazing to hear because it's facts. Don't nobody know how they would handle something. Don't nobody, can't nobody say I'm used to this and I know it's not going to change. Don't nobody know what's going to happen in your lifetime. So be careful, you guys, on how you treat people. Be careful how you talk to someone. And everyone who knows um, me and watches my videos and are subscribers to my channel, you already know one thing that I live by is be kind. Treat others how you want to be treated. I'm not going to disrespect anyone because I don't want anyone disrespecting me. I'm going to be kind because I want someone to be kind to me. And I just want you guys to have that thought for the day. And you guys have an awesome day. And may God bless you.